Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and in today's video I'll be doing a plan with me for the week of March 20th in my classic Happy Planner. Uh, you'll have seen a video a couple days ago where I also did a vertical spread in this layout. That was to showcase the Tigger stickers um, and that was in a different planner. So I'm still gonna do this for my normal planner here. And I pulled this Live Love Posh Chic Spring sticker book. This is the first week of spring. It's time to get into those spring vibes. So I'm going to manifest it in my planner. Um, I am an affiliate for Live Love Posh. So I have a code down below to save you some money. And it's also an affiliate link for me. Um, and this book is still available as of the time that I am filming this. So this is my jumping off point. We may add in some other things because I have lots of other, like I have spring boxes from Mojo Jojo, um, lots of other spring type stickers that we could pull in. But I want to start with this set here from Live Love Posh. So these four pages, we have some florals and then we have some of these pretty icons. I do want to use this washi tape. So let's start with that. I may kind of do it um, spread throughout. Let's see. Yeah, I think that this is long enough to do one, two, three. I think to do like six across, if that makes sense. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I think we could. So I could do it kind of on two lines if I wanted to. So we'll start with it on the bottom of this page. And then I could either do it, oh, so yeah, it's just going to be three. So I can't do what I was thinking, because I need more of this over here. I was thinking we could kind of do two on this and two on this, but I don't have enough. Um... Well, actually, we could probably make this work. I'm gonna pull, I finally got some wax paper up here. And you know what, it was up here all along, it just was lost. So I, I'm in the process of organizing my office, so I finally found it. Okay. Just so that I can kind of put these stickers down for now. I do wanna bring in these florals, so. I'm thinking this could kind of take the place of the washi tape, at least a little bit. I think this is a really pretty color combo, the navy blue with the pink. So I think this will look super pretty. And I'm just trying to manifest spring. It is cold here. Just trying to pick this off. There we go. It's windy. Oh, I'm not here for it. Okay. So how do we want to do this? My idea was actually to do a corner down here. So what if I did this? Kind of up here. Okay, I just need to wipe this out. I wipe this out basically every week. I think I saw in some of the new planners, there's not words here. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> okay, this is, I didn't put it down perfectly straight, but that will work there. I don't mind that that goes into March. I think that's fine. All right, now I want to make a corner down here. So let's pull. Oh, I'm just ripping these stickers. So we're going to make our own corner. This one already does have the edge cut off, which is nice. So we'll put this on one of the sides. here. 
here. May I may cut off some of that, we'll see. And then let's do a pink one. There we go. And I think layer it kind of here. So let me pre-cut that. And before this settles down, I'm gonna trim this off on the line. I do like that look when the sticker fits inside the boxes there, okay? And this one, I wanna pre-cut. We'll start there. We could always take off more if we need. You know what I really want? I really don't want this. Let's see if that worked. It did. Okay, because now this can just kind of perfectly nestle into that blue. Okay, and I have these little pink ones we could add. Definitely want to do these blue leaves up here. Just to kind of finish that off. And then, all right, so if I wanted to do the washi tape, continue it. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do, but still have this. So let's trim this here on the second line and I think I just want one of these so we'll cut that there and just add this little flower right there pretty and just like that we kind of made our own our own floral there all right, so I want to put the others at the top. We'll just kind of frame the spread with this. I think that's pretty. And I may use this little piece here. I don't love how this, there's like a little bit of white space there. Mm, that didn't work. Maybe we may try again later. We'll see. Unless I put a box there, but I don't like that little that little gap. Okay, and then this one up here on the right side. Yeah, so I think the easiest way would actually be if this floor will come up. And I think I'm actually just going to keep that in the floral right over the washi strip there. Okay. So now this all looks good and frames the page. I had to do this corner because I didn't have enough washi to go all the way over. And I take it back. I don't like that look. So maybe we'll try and put a box or something there. Okay. So we at least have some of the florals on each side. I'm actually going to leave the florals there for now. Um, although I do have this little pink one, we could add right there. Love that. Okay, so let's go to some of these stickers. I am in love with this, so we're definitely bringing this in. And I think I want it to come from off the page. So I'm thinking I want to do it. Or maybe not even off the page, maybe just here. Yep, I love that. There is another one, but I don't think I want the same sticker. Oh, wait, no, we could do this little one, maybe. I know it's like the same sticker flipped, but... I think I like that. I'll do the same thing, but this one we'll do all the way at the bottom. 
Okay, pretty. I love this bookshelf. I don't know about this. I may hold off if it'll come up. Because though it is very pretty, I don't love that it's the same thing. So instead, maybe down here we'll do... Because this is a perfect spot just to kind of sit on the washi tape here. So I kind of want to do this chair. Just right like that. And then this, I actually think I want this up here, but maybe layered with a box. So let's see if there's boxes in this book that match. And if not, maybe we can go to the Mojo Jojo. Yeah, I think I, I could make these work, but let's go to Mojo Jojo Spring Boxes. I'm also an affiliate for Jojo and have a coupon code with her as well to save you some money. But I think these are kind of different colors. This, this pink could work but I actually like this one better. So we're gonna go with the Live Love Posh for now. And I'll pair this. Where did I want this? I wanted it here. So let's try. Nope, it has to be the big box. That is not big enough. So we'll kind of layer this. that and, and this sticker since there's a lot of white I think I want it underneath it's like a little bookshelf up there that is so cute now I want to bring I kind of want a rich blue I don't want the sky blue so where could I find some more boxes. I have rainbow boxes here. Oh yeah, this blue I think will be perfect. Let's go with this blue. Um, okay, before I figure out that though, but yeah, look, this is gonna match beautifully to the spread. So I think I want one up here, but that I believe should be this little pink one. Just layered up here for Wednesday. Let's layer this one here. Wax paper really comes in clutch. <laughs> Let me tell you. All right. I do have one more big pink box, but I think, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's bring that down here layered with this washi tape. And I think I'll do it this way. Just to have a little bit of something different there layered with this blue box. These colors, stunning. Okay, they're stunning. Okay, let's see what else I want to do from here. Um, these bird houses are pretty. Oh no, I love this tea set. Let's start with that. That is so cute. I think this is a little bit too much here. Ooh, but I think it fits perfectly right here. Yes, love it. I also like this little quote. Don't wait for someone to bring you flowers, plant your own garden, and decorate your own soul. I think that'll fit perfectly in this little gap here. That's pretty. Oh, I'm really liking this. Okay. 
I want to do uh, something up here. So let's do a blue box. I don't know if I want to do the big size. That may be a little too big. So let's try the square. Paired with a pink one from here. Oh, I forgot we have these different sizes. Yeah, I like this up here for the weekend. Oh, that was crooked. I don't know what if this is um, designed for a specific size, but I think it's really, really pretty. I love having different size boxes. Okay, and then this one here, but I think I want the pink one on top, so let's pick that up again. Wear this here for Sunday, with that on top. Mm, that is so stinking cute. Okie dokie. We may be okay for boxes, at least for a moment. Although, no, I think I need, I may need one down here. We'll see, but back to this. Um, let's do, this spot feels very bare to me right now. And you know what? I think I want some, uh, some more quotes. So I'm gonna see, yeah, we have some spring quotes here. This is in Posh Spring. So we'll just stick with the Live Love Posh quotes. If this will fit somewhere, this is perfect for the first day or first week of spring. If this will come up. There we go. Spring, a lovely reminder of how beautiful change can be. A little bit too big for this spot. So we could put it right here, maybe. I think that's pretty, except this line. So let me pick this up, and we're going to white out, I think, this whole line. Even though I don't have to, I think that will look best. Just fully whiting this out. I'm using a white jelly roll pen. I need to figure out though, because I think we've talked about this before, but it's been a while. Um, sometimes these pens do not work well for me. And I think there's another one people told me to try, maybe Uniball Signo. I think I even have some from Go Wild. So I'll need to one day, I want to do like a full pen test situation. And because I got so many pens that go wild and I want to figure out exactly like what pens I use for what situations, you know? All right, so now we can move this over a little bit and do it here. Perfect. Love that. Um, all right, so now there's at least some stuff everywhere. Let's find a quote that kind of matches with this writing. Maybe plant grew, plant grow bloom. Because I'm thinking we could do it. Sorry, I'm just trying to find something that matches that has like the normal font and the cursive. I think this one may be the best. So let's see, while I'm peeling it up, where could it go? I'm thinking somewhere, maybe here. I don't know if that would be weird to just have a quote kind of floating by itself, but that could, that could work. Oh, you know what? I think I like it better here. Yeah. 
just kind of layered with that cluster. Cute. All right, we're done with quotes. Um, let me do, I wanna do some bullet points for sure, cause that'll fill in like this gap there and that always makes me feel better. So we can definitely do the pink ones from here. I don't think this has bullet points, does it? Some of her books do have checklists and bullet points, but I don't think this one does. No. <clears throat> so where can I find that? That's going to be a tricky one because this is such like a bright blue. Uh, maybe we just do pink or what if I did this? Let me try something because I think this matches the washi strip. So I think this would actually still work. This kind of lighter blue. So let me try that. So I'll speed you up as I put some of these around the page. All right, I think that's pretty. I definitely wanna add, there's some butterflies in here that I wanted to do. So let's add a few of those. It's like this is kind of bare up here, but I think that that helps that there. And I'm gonna pull the same ones, but trim them apart so that we can do them in a different formation. I just don't want them to perfectly match the ones from the other side. So we can do these, just kind of flying there. This is super, super pretty, and I may leave it here. I could definitely come in and do some other things, but I don't think it needs it. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually going to leave this right like this. So let me know what you guys think down below. Again, um, use code Plan Your Truth for all these different shops that we used for 10% off. It also does help out my account. So whenever you plan to shop with a, a lot of small sticker shops, right? Wrong Wrong, Kelly Plan, Amber Plans Are Day, um, all of these, just see Plan Anything. There's so many. See if one of your favorite content creators does have some sort of affiliate link or coupon code. It could even save you some money, but um, it does really help out that content creator as well but let's pop it back on the disc see what we're working with I do like the um the gold discs because I think it matches 99% of spreads like yeah it's just pretty neutral I love it so um that's all for today's video so thanks so much for watching if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.